Hey everyone, Patrick Lawler here, and I thought it'd be fun to show you how I made my latest music video for The Abyss by Termina. Andy lives in Florida and Nick lives in Canada, so I had them shoot it on their iPhones locked off while I watched on FaceTime. So I took their two iPhone shots, added a white vignette, added some fog to make it more realistic, put them into a 3D environment, surrounded them with scratches and grunge, and added some overlays for color. That's about it. Here you can see as I spin around them in 3D. I've been getting really tired of virtual camera shakes, so I made two tracking marks on the wall with gaffer tape, played back my edit and the song, and camera operated the way that I would if I was actually there. Of course, you know, gotta add some film overlays, scratches, put those wide bars on there, film grain, you know, make it look nice. Filming and tracking these marks on the wall added a lot of time to my process, but I think it really works and keeps my video interesting. So here I want to make a kaleidoscope, which is basically just inverted fog, repetile it out to fill a square. Then we got to add the kaleidoscope filter, done. Okay, neat, that looks swag. Oh my God, that's so dope. This next shot of Nick, we didn't know it was gonna work, but I rotoscoped his feet out, darkened him a little bit, and it works perfect. Add him into this background, and the background is basically made of all those kaleidoscopes just duplicated into 3D space and rotated randomly and at different times. And then you can see the camera basically just going down through the tunnel. I added a lens flare at the end of the tunnel, tracked it to a point light using optical flares, which is my favorite thing in the whole world when it doesn't crash. Ah! And that's pretty much it. After this point, you just hit render for like three days and then uh, it's done. Huge shout out to Andy and Nick of Termina. This is one of the cooler projects I think I've done in a long time.